Um, alright. Let's go, let's keep going. Father, I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. Yeah, Frederica is having quite a day. You, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Sailed across the sea, got attacked by bandits, met the person that she's going to be marrying, and then immediately met her dad, or met, met his dad. Ho oh, ho, the pleasure is all mine. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. I was going to say, it sounds like she's making a pretty good impression. You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. Thank you, my lord. I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood. Such as I. Oh, ho, I'd heard you were a strong willed one. Yeah, how did we find her? Pray forgive my insolence. Uh, and yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. Yes, father. What are you going to say? Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost, that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. Can? To give us more leverage against Tizen with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and Esfros consolidating their power, Hyzant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. And House Wolfhorn, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the King. Time. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations, it would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Okay, so it's like less about like power. Just so, yet neither nation shows that. And do you know why? No. So that. If relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse, we could be cast away like pawns. Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. Dang. That kind of sucks. I understand now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfort name. At least he was being pretty straight up with us. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, not his health. Father. Not his health that they brought up and is definitely going to become Lord Simo. a part of the, the storyline here. not what it once was for this reason and more i have made my decision as of this day i abdicate my position as lord of house wolfort Ooh. you will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth my son the word of the lord but father i am not ready to you are now My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, that you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then 
take action. Will do. Do so. And I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. You got this, Erno. I believe in you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own schemes. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all as his wife but also as her own person. This is House Wolfwalk's entreaty and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Who are you? Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Jagan and Minister Lila have arrived. Okay, I've at least heard those names. Maybe if I get a face put to them, I can remember them a little better. Banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. You did choose kind of a weird time to step down. Will mark the beginning of yours, my son. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, ceremony makes sense. Like there's so much going on. Your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. Yeah, everybody's got a lot of busy days coming up here. But yeah, Sereno and Frederica, they got a lot going on the next couple days. Hey, we did it. That's chapter one. Woo! <laughs> it was one battle and a lot of story. I do think there's going to be a lot of uh, dialogue and story and whatnot. So um, that's fine with me. Uh, we'll just save it here. Sure. Why not? And we keep going. Let's see what chapter two has in store. I have no idea how many chapters this game is going to have. Thirty years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. Mm. From east to west, joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the kingdom of Glenbrook the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and the Holy State of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth, with each nation providing expertise and resources. Okay. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long and battled realm. Yep, yep, we're going to keep just being peaceful for the entirety of the game. Nothing will go wrong. Look at them all come together. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success. The first step on the road to peace. <sighs> Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolfford. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfford from his father, Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay this new oh, we are gonna make the best uh, nation or house or whatever of all time. We got this. To arms, brave warriors, all right? We are going to arms against something. I really love that the overworld is just like represented by the squares that are traveling on top of uh, to like pentagons of sorts. Not a single triangle to be seen in this entire game yet. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. All right, so this is Lila. No, I gotcha. must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Oh, your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement 
made with the previous archduke. Wasn't the war like 30 years ago? What do you mean? Truth be told, is that not how that works? Surprise, one as well informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son, as I recall. Sarah Noah Wilford. That's me. Minister. And I am Frederica S. Frost. My son still has much to learn. But I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Yeah, that's kind of coming out of the blue to uh, other people I... In pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort. As will I. Yeah. And we have a lot more political <laughs> mess to deal with, probably. I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance. Indeed. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Orsalian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. All right. I feel like he's going to be important in some way. I'd like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? <laughs> oh, no. Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. I mean, yeah, it's kind of boring to just show up here when you can just go explore. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. I'm going to offend every single one of them. Of course, Father. Oh, that's the end of that scene. All right, so do we have to go looking for Dragan? Is that our next mission? I got this. Lord Dragan could be anywhere. I suppose this is as good as an opportunity to speak with the common folk. All right, so there's some exploration. The flow of the game comprises multiple phases. In addition to story scenes and battles, there'll also be an exploration phase. In this phase, you may move freely about uh, areas to gather information from the people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms and terrain. Uh, features that may serve you in battle and more. All right. Oh, you use the stick to run or walk. Oh, and directional buttons always run. Interesting. And then hold B or R to dash. Sure. And then I can just end the exploration at any time, basically. Um, I think I think this exact exploration uh, existed in the demo that I played. So I think I have done this, although I don't really remember it very well. I'm tasked with attending you at the ceremony tomorrow, my lord. May it be a joyous for occasion for all. I'm eager to hear your speech and even more eager to see you triumph for the tourney. Oh, Benedict, since you may have some questions regarding the joint mining venture, allow me to enlighten you. Combining the expertise and manpower of Norzelius three nations, uh, this mine will unearth a newly discovered vein of iron. We hope this will prove beneficial for our party, providing wealth and prosperity in equal measure. It is said Lord Dragan's knowledge of ironworking is peerless. I could think of none more suited to oversee the mines of Elden. Alright, this kind of looks like it's flashing. Yeah, we got a HP recovery pellet. Who are you? Oh, you're Anna. By your request, Benedict Nash to take part in the tourney. You bring victory to House Warfort. Can we go in the... We can! We can go into the houses! Alright, I just want to talk to the flashing thingies. Bobbles of Norzelia, Volume 8 to Notes. You'll find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they'll help you better understand Norzelia and its history. Be the notes, uh, War Chronicles Notes. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, I can look at it right now. The Norzelia River, past the handful of craggy mountains, lies the uh, frosty capital. Despite the blizzards off swirling about it, the city itself is orderly and well maintained. And people who dwell there is spirited and undaunted by working together they have managed to thrive in one of the most inhospitable places in the realm in this fortitude that has allowed as frost to grow into a nation to be reckoned with frost ironstone was carved out of rocky mountainside which is unusual but fitting for a land with countless iron mines within its borders it functions as both a castle and an iron factory 
Through our since the Grand Duchy are brought to the castle where they mass produce ironworks and engage in technological research thanks to an enormous forge at as large and as hot as the mouth of a volcano within the castle they are able to create huge quantities of ironware and weapons on a daily basis for s boss s frost pride and joy the black irons upon the castle's rare parts is arguably the chronic achievement a gigantic bell larger than the largest dragon Ooh, that'd be cool to see cannot even begin to fathom how they managed to create such a beast each day the bell tolls uh, the time for the people of its capital it is so loud it can be heard all throughout the mountains and has been known to even trigger avalanches on distant slopes how nice okay um you probably don't have much to say as a child greetings my lord my friends and i are playing hide and seek um are you hiding in here that's not a good hiding spot spot hopefully you're the one that's seeking uh house what's in here i think i saw something glowing over here no maybe not oh man i really thought i did i can talk to the cat very worth it. If only I could pet the cat. Alright, I don't know if there was anything more in there for me or not. I might have missed something. But it's fine. Alright, the ones with the exclamation uh, points over the head are probably more important, so we should talk to them. Uh, we're playing hide and seek till Da comes home. I need to find a place to hide and quick. Uh, take care not to hurt yourself. Father wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Ah, oh, what about Harry Games? Barrels are always my favorite place to hide. I think you can use that cleverness to help father when you're older. Nah, tell her to hide in a barrel. Nothing bad will happen. Barrels, I would have never thought of that, my lord. Uh, they'll never find me now. I speak from experience, they won't. However, they uh, may be even better hiding places uh, to be found around town. You're right, my lord, I'll find a hiding place no one's ever thought of before. You do it, I believe in you. Uh, it's just like him to gallop in off, to, off with nary word of farewell. So I suppose there's a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Sarah Noah? Uh, let's see, you know a town you must... Take time to relish your company, but Erdor towards me. Port of the center of commerce, but not at the expense of fair trade. That's will safely beyond the castle walls as a town of peace, since it's an example for the rest of the kingdom. Ah, uh, sure, that sounds good enough to me. And the people are thankful to their lord for that, I'm sure. It always starts through the peace, however, uh, as you as your encounter with the bandits proved. Of course, simply ensuring the smallest amount of safety must be a daunting task in itself. Yeah, uh, give me much to consider. Okay. Uh, sparkles? More HP recovery? Wow, you can get HP recovery stuff, like, everywhere. 300? I thought this said 3,000 for a second. I'm just like, hello? What? Okay, I don't see anything else sparkling. Anything more important down here? Who are you? Oh, this is Dragan. This town is prosperous since people have faith in the Lord. An impressive achievement by my experience. You're too kind, Lord Dragan. Oh, my apologies, but you are. Apologies should be mine. I'm Sarah Noah Wolfort. I've come to remind you to return to the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties were quite insistent. Of course, I appreciate the consideration. I'd like to explore the town a while longer, but rest assured, I shall be punctual with my arrival. Very cool. Wolfort Merchant, ah, ready for the wedding ceremony. What gift would best suit the union of you and Lady Frederica? Hmm. An impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with Lord Simon will spark inspiration. I don't know. Go for it. Try it. And just give me a lot of money. That'll probably be good enough. Uh, I can scarcely remember the last time Glenbrook was host to such a marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win glory, which will be known as the fiercest in all of Norzelia? I mean to be there when history is made. I'm gonna win, because I'm the best. Clearly. Um, I don't care about any of y'all. What's in your house? Sparkles? HP recovery. All right, well, I don't, I don't see anything else, as far as I can tell. We talked to all the exclamation marks, we went into all the houses that we could, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I guess we'll conclude the exploration. The banquet will begin soon, uh, soon, Lord Dragan and I had best not arrive late. Alright, let's go to the banquet. Ugh. At the banquet. Alright, let's see how this goes. Thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. Nice, we did good. You honor us with your words. 
I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. Nice, let's go! I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals and forge mutually beneficial relationships. That's the plan. I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? Ooh. I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. People are starting to fight. Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Saranoa? Uh... What do I think? The satisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon. A gift from the goddess to her true believers. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. Mm -hmm. And we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. I mean, yeah, we gotta be a little careful about what we're saying here. So non-committal, Lord Saranoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. I don't know if that's a better answer this, either. However, I can say we will fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be. Of course, we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. It's probably something that we're going to have to do. Yes, Lord Simone. Of that, we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. So, salt was the cause of the war originally, and then what, what got them to stop fighting um, if the same cause is, like, not being resolved? The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. Hmm, I don't, I don't know that I get a good vibe from Hyzant. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. They kind of have a lot of your, your stereotypical uh, villains in these types of stories. Indeed, we must set our gazes to the future. All of us. I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, father. Yep, a new era of another war. That's gonna be us. Alright, what are we doing next? I guess that was the banquet. Oh, uh, there's a side thing. The children of the crown speak to their father, King Regna. Ooh. Okay, we'll see what King Regna is about. I don't think we got to meet him yet. We just know that him and Roland don't seem to get along very well. Father spoke not a single word to me today. 
Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. Okay, maybe King Rick does like that with all of his children. Please, sister, you weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. Father has a kingdom to rule, a kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... Yes, of course, brother. You speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolforts and Minister Patria. The mm. king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit. Mm, yeah, there's, uh, there's going to be differences of opinions here. The hell they are. Yo, Roland's pretty, pretty sick. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Serenella. What? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedience enough for now, but that can change as quickly as the wind. Mm -hmm. I only got like Franny. Use he kind of sucks. When you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants. They're my friends. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. More fit than you. Well, stop this fighting at once. You frighten me. Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. Brother. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So at least we know where they stand. I guess Maxwell's better than us. Your spear wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through me. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. Mm -hmm. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. Oh, of course. I take the field with House Wolfort. Together, I have no doubt we can emerge triumphant. Yeah, Roland, Roland's gonna make it far, I think. That would explain your improvement. Young Sarah Noah is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tomorrow you shall show the realm what I already know. That you are a warrior worthy of your family's legacy. So Maxwell, I... I don't know if he cares about his family's legacy. Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Ooh. Surely you jest, your highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. Ah, I don't really believe that based on what I've heard about him so far. Apologies. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. Anyhow, I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. Yeah, it sounds pretty awful. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all.
All right, that might. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of the the side event here. Yeah, yeah, yeah.